Well, um, extremely proud of our guys this week. Um, I thought our guard play was tremendous um, in both games. Uh, it was another really good job of sharing the ball and creating for one another. Uh, I thought Tommy Welsh was huge in the second half on the backboard. We were struggling. We haven't been out rebounded very, very much or very badly all year. And I think we're down nine at halftime. Uh, and we end up winning the boards by three. And that was in large part uh, Tommy Welsh. I think he had 14 or 15 in the second half. Uh, and that was a big difference because we controlled the backboard. They didn't get, I think they had one offensive rebound in the second half because I think they had seven at halftime. So really proud of the adjustment our guys made on the backboard in the second half. Uh, and then we just kept plugging away. I thought both halves, we shot the ball well. Um, we made good plays when we had to have them. And in the last eight minutes, we got the stops that we had to get. We won the last four minute game 13 to, five, 13 to six uh, in a game that was tied with about four to go. So uh, very, very pleased. Uh, obviously an emotional win on Thursday and to uh, come back early afternoon on a Saturday and have this kind of emotion and, uh, and effort, uh, very appreciative. You said on Thursday you're going to use this game as kind of a barometer of, of intensity. What did what did you think after you know now after the game? Well, I like it because I you know obviously when you get in league play, it's about winning. You know the the lessons you, you want to learn in January and February have got to be about creating wins. And we had a five minute game tie game, uh, all the pressure on us, and we win that game. And so that's impressive. Uh, we did a good job on the backboard. We had twelve. 12 turnovers, I think we had two at half. So we had two men in the second half. But we averaged, what, 10 and a half SID? I think we averaged 10 and a half for the weekend. When we don't turn the ball over, I think we're hard to play against at the, at the other end. I, I think our offense, you know, we shot 49, we score 81 again. Um, uh, most of our offense is predicated on not turning the ball over. And we did that this week, weekend. And I thought our defense got better. You know, it's we got a long way to go uh, defensively, but I thought we did show some growth defensively, and uh, we did a lot of good things defensively. Holder got away from us a little bit. He's terrific. Uh, made some tough shots at the basket. We got in some foul trouble uh, up front, especially in the first half. But, um, you know, I thought we did a much, much better job in the last 10 minutes of the game. Coach, you shot the, the three much better again today and on the heels of, of uh, Thursday. Uh, do you think that's something that, you can depend on them? Well, I don't know if we can depend on it. Um, we got to get them, and that's the key. And I, I think um, we've, we've worked harder as a staff to try to do things to allow us to get more threes um, because I think we got guards that can really shoot them. Um, I, I think Bryce and Isaac are as good as anybody um, at making threes. We just got to get them more threes. We did that this weekend. Uh, Aaron made a huge three at the top of the key. Uh, for a freshman to step up and do that. I thought that was a huge shot, but he shoots the three ball. Prince can shoot it. Um, I think Jonah, Alex can shoot it. I think that's just the one stat that through the non-league and even through the first two league games, um, probably didn't get enough threes up and not, not making enough threes. And in these last two games, I, I think we've done a very good job of getting those numbers back up. And uh, that's a credit to the guys because the guys are sharing it. They're spacing better. They're moving the ball better. Uh, and we're getting really good looks, and we're making them. Uh, toward the end of the first half, when Tony and uh, Tom both came out, was that due to foul trouble or matchups or anything else? I'm sorry. I couldn't find you, so I'm sorry. Uh, what you see? When Tony and Tom both came out toward the end of the first half, was that due to foul trouble? or? Yeah, they both had two fouls. Yeah, both of them had two fouls, and I don't want them picking up a cheap third one going into the second half. So, yeah. How, how much more confident is, is Isaac now than he was even at the beginning of the year, this year? Well, very much. And we've spent a lot of time with Bryce and Isaac and, and Aaron about playing together, that backcourt. Um, it's a little different than last year because of um, Aaron, Aaron versus Norman. Norman was a big guard. Aaron can play the point. So we don't have to throw Isaac at the point like we did last year. And there's a lot of – people don't realize the pressure that goes into a point <laughs> because you've got to handle the ball you got to get the ball in the right position at the right time and initiate the right offense. If the offense doesn't start well, it's usually a disaster. And so that point, whoever's running the point has to do a good job of, of getting the offense set. And so now what we're able to do, we're able to 
This year, we're able to run Isaac off more screens. We're able to run Bryce off more screens. And I think Isaac's gotten more comfortable in the open court. Uh, he's moving the ball well. He's driving it well. And, and those guards are really sharing it well. We're, our drive and kick game between those three this week was really good. And so not as much pressure on whether it's Bryce to make a three because Aaron and, and um, Isaac are shooting it well or Isaac to have to drive the ball because Bryce and Aaron are driving the ball well. So um, I think that's been a big key to loosen him up, but he's consistently performed at a high level. Are you comfortable with the amount of bench scoring you're getting at this point, or do you want someone to shoulder a bit of, more of a load? Well, I think Jonah had a pretty good weekend. Uh, didn't show up so much in points, but I thought he was active. Had five assists. Um, you know, we're not a perfect team, so you can, yeah, you can look at bench points. And, you know, our, our bench. But I, I've mentioned it before. Oklahoma's as good a team as I've seen, and their bench hardly ever scores. You know, so it's we're scoring 80 points a game. So. It's not really to me where it comes from, but if we can keep getting 80 points, if Wes, our strength coach, gets put in, then I'll take points from my strength coach. It doesn't really matter to me whether it's starters, bench. Our starters get a lot of minutes. You know, our bench is developing, um, and that bench has got to continue. I thought Prince, talking about our bench, you know, Prince went about scoring, but that's the hardest I've seen Prince play and the toughest he's played defensively. And uh, that was a huge help to us in the first half. We got on our run when Prince was in. So I pay more attention, not so much to points, but what combinations and what's the score during those combinations. And tonight in the first half, I think we were plus nine when Prince was in there. And for a bench, that's huge. How difficult uh, was Trey Holder to, uh, to scheme for well, defensively? He's a load because he, he's got very good handles. He creates a lot. He's got really good body control at the rim. Um, so that becomes a load for us. But you know, I thought what we did was we took it away from everybody else. Um, you know, I had one other guy, uh, and that was Justice, who got, hold, got hot late. He's the only other guy in double figures. So if you only get basically one in double figures, that guy's going to have to really produce a lot. And Holder had a really good game, but I thought we did a really good job on the other guys. I, you know, we, nice job on Blake's. He didn't get going. Uh, we didn't really let any of them get in a, a lot of rhythm, more turnovers and assists. Um, so I thought that was really, really good. Tom Welsh tonight had five offensive rebounds, including that that late one. Is was that due to a size advantage, to, or is he is he come well, along we in that bigger. too? I think he had one or two rebounds at half, so we really challenged him. And when you challenge Tom, I, Tom responds. Tom is a great kid, but he's very talented, and he's he's a prideful individual. And I don't think he was very happy with his first half. And he had a dominant performance. Uh, he dominated the paint in the second half. Um, and I thought Isaac did a Great job of scoring. Bryce controlled the ball. Bryce got us in the things that we wanted to get into. Hit another huge shot on the top of uh, 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 Aaron's shot at the top of the key to make it a two-possession game. So we made, we made the big plays when we had to make it, but we really did a good job in the second half of pulling in the loose balls. Because I think Arizona State, though a little bit undersized, they're as good as we've played at getting the 50-50 balls. And that was a concern. And they got them in the first half. I thought we got them in the second half. Thank you.